shy scroungers lay about. I shall have my milky bar now, please, Mother. <laughs> Conference, ladies and gentlemen, and Tarzan. <laughs> That's you, Mr. Hesseltine. <laughs> Do you want your house to be compulsorily purchased and turned into an Indian women's hopscotch collective? <laughs> That's what Golden Brown wants! <laughs> and conference, do you want to look out of your bedroom window one morning to find that your car has been taken away by a stranger? It's not been stolen, oh no. It's been given away by Brussels to a Spanish fisherman. <laughs> That's what Tony Blair wants. <laughs> Colleagues, I'm 13 now. But I still remember many years ago, when I was 11 and a half, <laughs> my old dad gave me a mighty morphine power ranger. A white power ranger. <laughs> and I love it. But it's not my favourite power ranger. Oh, no. My favourite power ranger is in this very conference hall. Mighty morphine power major. <laughs> Was your maths homework, Tory boy? It's not a question of where it is. Oh, no. It's a question of what was it. And was it of a sufficiently high standard to meet the requirements of the national curriculum? I said, where's your homework? And I am saying to you, are you meeting your requirements? The requirements set out quite clearly. Answer the question. Where's your homework? You answer my question. Tory boy, shut up and give me your homework. I am denied the right to free speech. All right, get out. And sent into exile. <laughs> but you can't send me to a labour camp because we don't live in your Soviet socialist new labour utopia. We live in Britain. A free Britain. A conservative Britain. <laughs> <laughs> The increase on my allowance has come through, thanks. Good. Increase? <laughs> yeah, Dad's increased my allowance. An increase, Father? I hadn't noticed a significant increase in our productivity. <laughs> well, things got in price, Tory boy, and she hasn't had any extra money for a couple of years. How much is this increase? None of your business. How much is this increase? <laughs> Look, Dad's given me an extra £80 a month, if you really must know. Five hundred and eighty pounds? That's an increase of... Sixteen <laughs> percent. Way above the level of inflation and totally unacceptable. Look, food's gone up a lot and so have the bills. And you're a growing boy. You cost a lot more. Then she should economise. It's no good throwing money at the problem. Her cleaning is below par, as is her cooking. <laughs> Be quiet, I haven't finished. <laughs> I have your interests at heart, Father. <laughs> You're the way, Jenna. Where would we be without you? Marvellous. <laughs> Oi, I run this house, and I'll cook and clean as I see fit. It's hard work being a mum, and I deserve the extra money. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody goes into motherhood for the money. It's a vocation, and a very honest and valuable one, too. 
Where would we be as a nation without our mothers? But when you start holding this family to ransom, with your unreasonable and selfish demands, your I'm all right, Jack mentality, then we say no, no. The line is drawn here and you do not cross it. Tory boy, if you carry on like this, I'll send you to your room. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Well, get on with your breakfast. Mother, may I eat my Cocoa Pops next door in front of Breakfast with Frost? Go on, then. Thank you. The house is adjourned. <laughs>